In this next question, we're given a graph of a function and we're asked to determine the inverse graphically, then to state the domain and range of the original function and the inverse. So uh, we look at the graph itself, and there it is. And um, it would seem that we are given uh, certain critical points. We know the point negative 4, 1, negative 1, 3, 4, 0, and 6, negative 4. So what we're going to do is uh, invert the x and y coordinates on each one of these ordered pairs and graph the corresponding inverse points. And this is what we have when we do that. Negative 4, 1 becomes 1, negative 4. Negative 1, 3 becomes 3, negative 1. 4, 0 becomes 0, 4. And 6, negative 4 becomes negative 4, 6. And then we ask ourselves what happens in this function. Well, we, from negative 4, 1 over to ever decreasing values of x, we um, head straight infinitely. So from 1, negative 4 to ever decreasing values of y, we should head straight infinitely. We then connect from negative 4, 1 to negative 1, 3, so the images should do the same. We connect from negative 1, 3 to 4, 0, so the images should do the same. And from 4, 0 to 6, negative 4 and beyond, uh, we continue infinitely in a linear fashion, so the image should do the same. And in fact, it does. And if we were to graph the line y equals x, we would see that we actually have a reflection. The uh, red line and the green line actually are reflections of each other. And if uh, you can focus on just this part of the red line and just this part of the green line, you might see that. Similarly, focus on just this part of the red curve and just this part of the green curve, and you can see that as well. Now to determine the domain and range of each, we'll focus first on the original green function. We see that the domain is all x element of the reals, and the, ra and the range is going to be all y values less than or equal to 3. With respect to the uh, red curve, uh, the inverse, we see that the range is all y element of the reals, and the domain is all x values less than or equal to 3. And what's interesting about that is that the range of the original function corresponds precisely with the domain of the inverse. The domain of the original function corresponds precisely with the range of the inverse.